Hi, humans. So I apparently am on a roll with, with things wanting to flow through me, and I've been sitting on this experience for about a week now. Um, an experience of my, my own experience of getting triggered in a particular sexual dynamic about a week ago and it felt super rich because it allowed me to find presence and power and connection in a place where, hi Jerry, in a place where I've previously experienced shutdown or, or checking out of my body or disempowerment. And it just felt like such a, a rich learning point for myself and just for, for really humanity because I feel like so many of the sexual experiences that so many people, especially in America, are having um, are sexual experiences where we're not actually in our bodies, where we're not actually in our voice, where we're not actually in our, our truth and authentic connection. And there's just so much... Um, potential for wreckage and, and damage and trauma from those places and I got to have the experience this past weekend of feeling myself go into a, a triggered reaction response and I'll give you a little bit about the scenario so you can just feel what was happening. So I was with um, a male lover of mine and he, his, his a primary partner was also there. So I was over their home, they were both there, and I primarily have sexual experience with men, and I've been leaning into exploring sensuality, the sharing of sexual energy with women as well, because it's an edge for me, and I've been curious. So we were all um, in bed together, and he was in the middle, and then I was on one side, and she was on the other. And um, there's, there's mirrors in the room. So at one point I was actually watching the two of them kissing each other, which was actually a really pleasurable thing to witness. I was able to feel like pleasure and openness and joy in my body. Um, however, um, there was this point where, hi Perry, where she wound up starting to go down on him and started to suck his cock. And I was witnessing this. I was on the other side. I was just being present. And what I noticed in my body was that I started to experience um, like this clenching. I started to experience kind of this, it was like a burning, but simultaneously there was, there was a coldness to it. And it kind of felt like the color was, or the life force was kind of like seeping out of my body slowly. And I just felt uncomfortable I, I felt um, I felt uncomfortable I felt um, out of connection I felt um, I felt unsafe and not unsafe like oh I wasn't safe with these two humans they're amazing humans but there was something that was getting triggered in me that we actually don't even need to go into the detail of what what the thing was that was triggering it but what I was aware of in that moment was that I had crossed a personal boundary of mine that I wasn't clear existed, but I could feel the fact that I had crossed the boundary because my body started shutting down and I started checking out. And I was actually able to step back from this process, this experience of being triggered and notice what was happening so that I could actually stay conscious in the experience as this is going down. And there was this kind of like internal dialogue in my head for, for maybe like a few minutes of like, like, should I stop this? Like, should I slow this down? Like, can I speak up here? Am I going to ruin the experience? Am I being a Debbie Downer? Like, oh my God, like what's wrong with me? Why can't I be a yes to this? And, you know, I like, I myself, like I feel so many people in our sexual experiences have the past experience of going along with something that our body wasn't actually a full yes to. And, and the repercussions of having sexual experiences where we don't stay present in our body and don't speak what's true in the moment and how that can impact so many future sexual experiences in our relationship with ourself. And it just felt like this invitation in this moment with these two people who I knew that I was incredibly safe with and who wanted me to feel safe and held and loved. 
um, that I did decide to, to call red. For those of you who aren't familiar, green, yellow, red, green, green means we're good to go, everything's awesome. Yellow means I am like slightly triggered, we're starting to get into unknown territory, but I'm okay. And red means like, whoa, I've passed a boundary, we need to stop, we need to slow down, care needs to happen. And I just, I said that, I was like, I, like can we stop? Like, I need to slow down. And oh, like, I, I can feel it in my body now. Uh, like the tenderness of, it feels like the little girl in me. It feels like the tenderness of the little girl who doesn't fully trust that it's safe for her to, to take up space and time and slow things down. And I really feel like I got to heal something. It was like in that act of slowing down and, and honoring the trigger and not just brushing past it. It was like, one, I got to realize a boundary within myself, which is what I'm clear about is that um, regardless of what gender I'm exploring sexuality or sensuality with, it is so important for me to feel a connection or a unique intimate connection with the person involved and what i have experienced because i've played with and connected with several couples in this scenario where i i am a lover of the man and then he has a primary partner and we both play individually and separately where i've um wanted to rush the intimacy with the woman or felt like I've needed to rush the intimacy with the woman as a way to create safety because of the fear that the the female lover might feel threatened by my relationship with her partner or that she might judge me like there's it was like the triggering of the the old fear that I'm not safe with women so I really got to be present to that trigger and because I didn't brush past it and because all of my sexual and sensual relationships with people right now are with people who prioritize the connection and prioritize the slowing down there's not an agenda I'm not I'm not being a Debbie Downer if I need to slow down I I got to learn something about myself around what am I yes and what am I no to in intimate and sexual relationships. I got to clarify the containers that I want to create when I am dating men who are also in partnership with other women so that my nervous system can actually um, soften and relax and, and open because I feel more safe that I don't need to be rushed into a three-way dynamic, which is just so many dynamics to handle all at once. Um, and it just felt important to share this. I, for multiple reasons. And I really want for people to feel like it's safe to be honest in sex. And I really want for people to feel like there's nowhere to go. Like that's been one of the most powerful pieces for me is realizing that there's not actually anywhere to go in sex and that like, yes, pleasure and orgasm and climax are fun parts of the experience, but that really sex is a place to remove the masks that we wear in society and let ourselves be deeply seen in, in our vulnerability and really connect with the the subtlety of intimacy that there's so much richness to to be explored there's so much intimacy to be explored in these spaces where we take our clothes off with another person that physical penetration of a cock in a pussy or fingers in a pussy doesn't even need to be part of the experience to have a, a deeply meaningful and significant sexual experience so I hope that this video has been of service it feels really good to share 
I, I consider myself a relationship psychonaut. For those of you who don't know, a, a psychonaut is someone who um, is an explorer of the psychedelic realms. And I, I've said this in previous videos that I see a strong parallel between the, the, the state that psychedelics can produce and the state that intimacy can produce. Um, so I've definitely found myself in some trippy and mind altering and expansive experiences through my willingness to drop into these depths of, of raw intimacy and raw connection. And it feels good to dive in and bring them up to the surface and share with you. So I hope this was of service. Uh, feel free to write questions in the comments below or other topics that you would be interested in, in my speaking to because I have a lot of rich experience. I have a lot of things to share about. Um, so it's all about what's one most alive for me and also what's most alive for you. Thank you. Aloha.